There is no doubt in my mind that Shadura Sanders will more than likely return to Colorado next season in the year of 2024. Thank you for watching the Evil One Podcast. I'm Anthony AP. And make sure you like this video, but always make sure if you haven't already or if you're a new visitor, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much in advance. And yeah, I really think that Shadur is not only having a breakout season, but if he stays at Colorado for another year, he'll have a monster season on top of the monster season that he's already having. I mean, he's already been in Heisman conversation talks. And even though I don't think that he'll win the Heisman, those chances of him being in the running in the top two or top three will even increase for next season. Uh, but not only that, there's a few important things to look at here when talking about Shadur and whether he'll go to the NFL draft or whether he'll stay at Colorado and stay in college is that NIL deals. Now, according to on three, also, I got a little bit of this information from Fox News as well. But uh, Shadur is the second highest paid college athlete per NIL brand deals in the NCAA earning four point eight million dollars to me of course he'll earn more in the nfl but he's already earning millions of dollars in college and he can stay in college because he'll be playing for his father and the connection that they have is we already know an awesome connection but most importantly his development you, we're seeing we're seeing the development in Shadur's game every single week. We really are. His accuracy, some of the throws, a lot of the throws he's making, his poise in the pocket, having a makeshift offensive line that's terrible. I mean, he's standing in that pocket and he's showing the confidence and the accuracy each and every week. So, you know, that only in, will increase his NFL draft projections for next year, you know, if he stays for a second year at Colorado, his NFL projections will absolutely skyrocket. Shadur has totaled 2,020 yards with 16 touchdowns and two interceptions, including 239 yards and a touchdown pass in the team's uh, latest win last weekend, depending on when you watch this, uh, win over Arizona State last Saturday. So like I said earlier in this vid, I mean, he has a horrible offensive line and he's putting up these very good numbers. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Will Shador stay or will he go? My money is that he's going to stay next year. He's going to have a better team. He's already got weapons around him. He's going to have a better O-line. The defense is going to get better. But anyway, hit me up, like that comment section up. You've been watching the E for One podcast. And until later, peace, peace. Talk to you soon. Peace.